to uh, Kilo's video series on biomechanics. In the second, in this second video, we're going to talk about um, foundation or really kind of postural components of stand-up paddling. We're going to look at, at what the spine is supposed to be doing and how the spine relates to kind of some of the lower extremities a little bit. Um, when we look at sports and exercise, we hear the term core all the time. And really, what is core? Well, I, I would argue that core changes depending on what our sport is. Um, and, and in stand-up paddling, co core incorporates a number of muscles and movements, and we'd like that core to live in the middle, such that the body can move through all of its planes of motion in a somewhat unrestricted, powerful, efficient way. We'd like it to move front to back, side to side, and we'd like it to rotate. So in order to find that middle position where the spine joints are not leaning on themselves and where the rib cage is free to move, um, we're going to practice something called the sternal lift. So, so um, we're going to go ahead and run through the sternal lift and, and Dave, I'm going to take you through it. What I want you to do is just take a big deep breath in for me and let that breath on out. And you can kind of feel how as you took that breath in, your chest lifted up towards the ceiling and when you let that breath out, the chest kind of dropped down. Now on the second breath, what I want you to do is take a big deep breath in. You can feel that chest lifted up nice and tall. What I want you to do is leave that chest up tall and let that breath back on out. And then I want you to keep your chest there and allow yourself to kind of breathe normally. And you can feel, Dave, as you keep that chest nice and tall, that you've just kind of subtly tucked your chin and your shoulder blades have kind of gently kind of pulled themselves back a bit. Your stomach muscles are on. You've tucked your butt underneath you and your legs are kind of in this position where, hmm, I think I'm ready to do something. I'm ready to do some work. And we put the body kind of in its middle position, in its position that it's going to be most efficient um, in, in doing most sports, including stand-up paddling, um, and, and allow us a powerful motion. So what I'm going to have you do for me, Dave, I'm going to have you stand up, up onto the board here for me. And I'm going to have you find that sternal lift posture for me. And now we're going to kind of combine that with something that we hear all the time, which is people talk about that athletic stance. And what the athletic stance says is, hey, I want those feet about hip to shoulder distance apart from each other. I want to kind of softly bend those ankles and softly bend those knees and keep myself in that nice sternal lift there. So from that position, we've now kind of prepped the body to kind of bear its weight in through the big toe and the heel, kind of creating a nice balanced position there. We've turned on the muscles of the calves and the muscles of the quads, um, and we've kind of connected them to this nice upper quadrant um, posture that we've got here. And we're ready to start an efficient paddling stroke. And so what I'm going to do, Dave, I'm going to hand you this the paddle here. I'm going to have you go ahead and just take a couple strokes, really thinking about keeping that sternal lift nice and tall there so that your motion really kind of pivots from the hips while we keep that spine nice and straight. So that looks great, Dave. What we're going to talk about in our next video really is what the shoulder mechanics should be doing um, and how to keep that shoulder safe yet powerful and couple that with what the rest of the body is doing.